Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because we're going to have a look at Mattel packaging mistakes, uh, mistakes and botches that Mattel have made uh, on some of the packaging for the figures that they have sent out to stores. Uh, this video is a video I've wanted to make for a long time, but honestly, Mattel don't make that many mistakes. Fair play, they put out a lot of figures. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that could go wrong. The fact it's taken me so long to find these errors uh, is kind of, you know, a testament to the good work they do. Uh, so that's enough praise for Mattel. Uh, let's get to the mistakes. So let's start with this. This is Kalisto. Elite Series 42. Now, I do need to give a shout out to Tommy Toy Travels, my good friend, uh, who actually pointed this mistake out in the review he did for this figure on the back of the packaging. As you can see here, it says that this was the ring attire that Kalisto wore at WrestleMania 31. The only problem is, it isn't. It's not the ring attire that Kalisto wore at WrestleMania 31. And we can be very confident about that. Because Kalisto wasn't mm. at WrestleMania 31. <laughs> he wasn't even on the main roster at the time. He actually debuted on Raw the very next night. And what makes this even better is he still wasn't wearing that ring attire. <laughs> Next up, we've got Dean Malenko, uh, and as you can see, Dean Malenko comes with a championship belt. That belt is the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Now, Dean Malenko never held that version of the championship. He was a four-time Cruiserweight Champion, but all four reigns came in WCW, not WWE. So that is the incorrect belt that should go with Dean Malenko. But we'll let them off because he was a cruiserweight champion for WCW. There isn't a WCW cruiserweight championship that Mattel have made. So we'll let them off. But we cannot let them off the fact that the box says that it comes with a United States Championship. So not only is it the wrong championship, but the box is saying it's a completely different championship. Next, The Miz Elite Series 9. Now, I do have to give credit to Mattel for this one. They did spot this mistake before it hit stores, but it was still printed and the mistake is still there. Um, what I'm talking about is The Miz Elite Series 9. Uh, it shipped to stores with a little sticker on the side. And I'm not sure if many people will have spotted it. They did a very good job of hiding this mistake. But for whatever reason, and I will never know why, Ringside Collectibles took that sticker off just before reviewing the figure. If you go to Ringside Collectibles and have a look at the Miz Series 9 review, you will see this mistake uh, in that review. And it is that at the start of the words, the Miz, there's a Z. There's a random Z. Someone printed a Z. Who the hell is Z the Miz? <laughs> Z the Miz? Uh, Z the Miz? Uh, is apparently on every Elite Series 9, and they had to put a sticker on to hide it. Fun little side fact before we move on. Uh, if you have a look at the official image for Dolph Ziggler Elite 39, you'll see that Ringside Collectibles uh, have got a mistake on the back of his shirt. It's meant to say, I'm too good, but it's missing the eye. Uh, I have seen a few reports of people finding this mistake in stores as well. So it might not only have been ringside collectibles uh, that had like a dodgy one. Um, but I think the majority that shipped were actually correct. Uh, certainly I've got one and mine is perfectly fine. But how weird that the one that ringside got had that mistake on the shirt. Let's not get off track though. Let's go back to the packaging and let's have a look at this. This is Shawn Michaels. Defining moments, WrestleMania 25, one of the most important matches in the history of WWE. In my opinion, 
the best WWE match ever. Um, it's the match that always comes to mind, first of all, when I think about what was the best wrestling match that ever happened in WWE. Um, storytelling like I'd never seen, back and forth, near falls, the streak was on the line, uh, the light versus the darkness, it was, it was fantastic. Uh, so good that we have this defining moments. This figure is all about that match. It is the ring attire that Sean was wearing that night. The bio on the back talks about that match in great detail. So why did no one check the date? The date is incorrect! This did not take place in 2008. It took place in 2009! Next, we've got two figures that have got mistakes on. Uh, the WrestleMania Heritage Undertaker and Kane figures. Now, what's amazing is there are only two figures in this series. And both have got mistakes. Uh, if we have a look at the Undertaker one, first of all, uh, it says on here that he is 212 pounds. Now, this figure is based on WrestleMania 7. It says that at the top. And so I went back. Uh, and had a look at WrestleMania 7, and when Undertaker is making his entrance, it is very clear that the Fink, Howard Finkel, announces that the Undertaker is £328, not £212. Uh, you might be able to overlook that had they then not made a mistake on the other figure, Kane Heritage WrestleMania. It says that he is six foot one. Kane is not six foot one, he is seven foot tall. WWE lists him as being seven foot, Wikipedia lists him as being seven foot. Other figures say that he's seven foot, but for whatever reason, according to this figure, at WrestleMania 2000, he lost 11 inches. Next up, we've got The Rock, then, now, forever elite, and I love this mistake because there's no hiding it. There's no messing around. Let's not have it hidden on the back of the packaging or on the side. Let's not put a sticker over it. This is front and center. Uh, as you can see, it lists all the accessories on the front of the packaging. And it says that this rock figure comes with a microphone and ring side barricade and a ringside chair. So what I love here is not only have they spelt ringside wrong and not corrected it, ringside, but they then spelt the same word correctly right after it. <laughs> Someone like got it wrong and then managed to correct themselves within the matter of a few seconds. Uh, so yeah, crazy. How did no one pick up on this? It's on the front of the box. Next up, the Tyler Bate Elite. I was so hyped for this figure, and I still love it. It's still the only way that you can get the United Kingdom Championship, and that is what this figure is all about. It is a celebration of 2017, when we had the first United Kingdom Championship Tournament, a tournament that was put in place to crown the first ever WWE United Kingdom champion. Uh, you've got Tyler Bates celebrating with the championship. He did win that title. He became the first ever champion. But if you actually look at the grid, at the breakdown of how that tournament unfolded, there is a mistake. Uh, according to the back of the box, it claims that Wolfgang lost to Trent Seven and then Trent Seven lost to Tyler Bates in the semi-final. That is not correct. I was there in person, I can tell you that Wolfgang beat Trent Seven and then Wolfgang was the one that lost to Tyler Bate. What blows my mind about this is it's not a spelling mistake. They just got the result wrong. Next up, Sergeant Slaughter, Hall of Fame figure. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Hall of Fame. Let that sink in a little bit. This is a Hall of Famer. Uh, this is a Hall of Fame figure. Uh, this is here to pay homage to one of the greatest wrestlers in the history of WWE. And I can honestly say, I have never seen his name spelt that way. Sergeant Slaughter has always been S-G-T Slaughter. They've always condensed down the word Sergeant. It's always S-G-T Slaughter. So for some reason, 
they decided to go off-road and write out the word sergeant. It's never been put that way. I've never seen it announced that way. So I don't know why they did it here. They wrote the word sergeant slaughter. But what really takes this to the next level, the reason why it's so high in my list of mistakes is the fact that they spelt the word sergeant wrong. <laughs> you don't spell it S A R G E N T. It's like some kind of crazy spelling. It's like S E R G E A N T. This is a bit like a spelling bee. And I think I've done okay there. Um, so yeah, it is not spelt the way they spelt it. And that's not even how he spells his name. Next up, Bray Wyatt, WrestleMania 30 Elite. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, so on the back in the bio, it talks about Bray Wyatt uh, with his feud against John Cena. And it talks about the Wyatt family. Uh, but it doesn't get the names right. As you can see here, uh, it actually says Luke Rowan and Eric Harper. Of course, that's not their names. Their names are Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. How did they get them mixed up? How does that even happen? Like, did someone go, oh, don't forget to write on the back, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I've got it. Eric Harper, Luke Rowan. Was it Eric? I'll just put that. I'll just put it. Don't, no one will notice. I'll put that. But that brings us to number one. This is the biggest mistake Mattel have made on packaging. In my opinion, you might disagree. Uh, you might agree. But it is on the Bruno San Martino Elite 25 figure. Uh, and the reason that I think this is the biggest is because it is talking about some of the most important moments in the history of WWE. It is talking about... Some of those early championship reigns. So on the back of this packaging, you can see that it claims that Bruno Sammartino became the first ever WWE champion. That simply is not true. Uh, the first champion was Buddy Rogers. WWE themselves are very vocal about the fact that Buddy Rogers was the first. Uh, but that's not where the mistakes ended here. Uh, because they also claim that Bruno San Martino would have an eight year title reign when in fact it wasn't that long. I think it was around seven and a half years. Just a little and maybe they rounded up so I can let them off that. But I cannot excuse the fact that they said that he beat Buddy Roberts. Who the hell is Buddy Roberts. Are you talking about the first ever WWE Champion, Buddy Rogers? Are you talking about a man that is in the WWE Hall of Fame? Are you talking about the history of the whole company? And you've whittled it down to a load of mistakes. Who is Buddy Roberts? Awesome guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a bit of fun. And as I said, Mattel do a fantastic job. It took me a long time to find these mistakes. Uh, but there's enough there for a video. Uh, and I certainly had a lot of fun putting this together for you. If you did enjoy it, let me know. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe because we'll be doing plenty more uh, of these types of videos in the coming days and weeks. Uh, and hopefully... I see you again next time. Bye for now.